okay now we need to set up our tick docs now the tick docs is different than the api docs tick docs is uh let's let's add uh, a component which has uh tick docs which is the catalog info yaml here uh, oh we got this register import we got our python library done so this is my I, python library now you see the docs full docs tab here this is tech docs all it does is that it takes the markdown files in that repository runs something called mkdocs and then shows you that so if you see um if you see the entity definition this annotation needs to be added you need to say metadata dot annotations tech docs ref is pointing to dir dot dir dot means there is a docs folder wherever the catalog info yaml lives there is a docs folder and this is what you need to build this is my mk docs website okay um this is in uh, restructured text um i am not sure that's gonna work uh let me try Let me try renaming that. So this needs to be like mkdocs compatible. mkdocs is the tool that we use. This is the generator. Um, so the, the simplest sim format for this is you need a docs folder. Let me rename this to something called, uh, how do I rename a folder in GitHub? If I want to rename this, well, I can try to uh, let me let me register this uh, newly. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm going to call it uh, entity, sorry, service with docs. Okay. And then I'm going to call catalog info YAML here. Okay. And I'm going to copy an entity. Again, you know where to go. Backstage YAML. Copy the component. Copy this, paste it here. I'm going to say this is a service with docs okay now it's a service everything else doesn't matter you can leave, keep it leave it doesn't matter what matters is you need to add the tiktoks annotation backstage.io slash tiktoks ref dir dot hit commit commit done now you need to add a file called docs index.md I'm gonna say hello world in here so you see the structure I have a catalog info YAML and I have a docs folder and this is enabled with tech docs so let me copy this register analyze import and the entities here this is missing because my annotation is wrong it's tech docs ref Oh, you, you see the mistake? Do you see it? Do you see the difference? It needs to be in the annotations. Now go ahead and refresh it. Now reload. Go to docs. And this will try to build, but I am thinking it should fail because tech docs. Oh, well, it worked. W wonderful. Um, it should fail in your environment. And the reason is you need to set up uh, tech docs. And in order to do that, uh, let's understand how to set up tech docs. So go to your app config.yaml. Okay. Search for tech docs. Now, the builder means. Um, 
Backstage is going to build your docs. Keep it local. Don't worry about external. You're never going to use it. Keep tech docs builder to local, which means backstage should update docs, should should create docs. Generator means whether you are running Docker to generate docs or this will be done locally. Docker is fine if you're running it locally. Um, Docker will give you a tech docs uh, Docker image, which will generate it. Uh, ensure that you have Docker running, right? So you'll see that um, it's running for me. Um, and yeah, it's running for me. Um, it's it's going to use that. And publisher is, is the third concept, which means where will the docs stored? Uh, the index.html, the images in the doc side, all of that, where will be it stored? Local means it will be stored in the same file system. Ideally, you should be using a bucket like Google GCS AWS S3 to read it. Now, there's this um, configurations page that you can take a look at. Um, you know who wrote this? Uh, it was me uh, because there's too many too many configs, so I, I wanted this to uh, this this to be there. Um, so this is the image that is that is the that is used. Um, and uh, here's some of the like additional uh, things that you can use. Like if you have to set up Google GCS, then you can say the bucket storage, and then you can like set up the uh, credentials. Everything is documented. Um, you know, if you want to set up your Google GCS, then you go to using cloud storage, and then you choose, choose how to configure this. There's few authentication me mechanisms uh, of, of configuring tech docs there. Um, but when you deploy this, when you deploy your backstage, you will be deploying this in your Docker image. So that is where you will not be able to use run in Docker because that will create Docker inside Docker situation. So you need to switch this to local. But when you switch this to local, you will have to ensure that your MK docs and everything is installed locally. <clears throat> so you need to go here, read this docs, and these are all the things that you need to install locally. So you need to install Python, pip, virtual environment, and ultimately you need to install mkdocs, techdocs, core as well. Um, once you have this installed locally, then it's good. So um, do that change when you um, deploy this, change this to local, and ensure your image it has Python and mkdocs core plugin installed um, sounds good so that will ensure that your docs is working now here my tech docs is working if you have components with this with docs enable you will find them here so you'll say this the python library also has some docs i believe but it's a uh, restructured text it's not gonna it's not gonna work this works